Well, people are coming to this house in Altoona thinking they're here to pick up a puppy, but they've actually just fallen for an online scam. I feel like every day I'm paying for the mistake. Sarah Keon says this all started a year ago. After recovering from a stroke, she was scrolling through Facebook and saw a friend post a link claiming she turned $100 into $1,200. The link took her to a website that took payment via Cash App and asked for her license and Facebook information. You have these people who have your information and spreading it out to the world and you don't know who's getting your information. These messages show her desperate plea with the scammer to get her Facebook password back, but they just demanded more money and took control of her page to promote a puppy scam. One person uh, I have found out has driven from Omaha, Nebraska expecting a puppy. <laughs> Now strangers come to her door expecting a puppy. Her attempts to have Facebook take down the page have been unsuccessful. They're letting a scam go on. And the issue compounds itself. The more people who fall victim, the more pages they can use to promote scams. The scammers are getting more and more sophisticated. Lynn Hicks with the Iowa Attorney General's office says to be wary of links online. Don't trust anything that tries to rush you to give out personal information. Check for misspellings or foreign addresses and ask yourself, is it too good to be true? Questions should be coming up in, in your mind when you get messages like that. Hicks says a very small amount of scammers end up facing legal charges. He says they need more national enforcement and cooperation from large corporations. We need companies like Facebook to be more responsive. We need companies like um, Cash App and Zelle to be more vigilant about scams happening on their on their platforms. In Altoona, Scott Carpenter, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Facebook tells KCCI they're now investigating this scam. The Keown family has also filed a complaint with the Iowa Attorney General's office.